Morning, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do this as easy as I can. It's a customer service issue. Uh, my wife was driving home and uh, she kind of got pushed over off the edge of the road and she hit a pothole and it made a hell of a dent in the right rear rim on my new uh, Yukon Denali. And any of you that know, when that happens, it breaks the bead wall and it goes flat. Well, she pulled down to get off the road and of course it cut the tire too. So I called, check on if they have one. Well, the dealership where I bought it, they actually had, they said, we can get you one and a tire. We have it in stock and we can get it for you and you can have it today, which is Saturday. This happened Thursday night. So uh, he called me, said it came in Friday evening, said, yeah, we'll get you in here in the morning. Great, I started out great. Thought it was wonderful. It's going good. Well, I go over there and I said, well, you know, the jack, everything's still laying in the back. I said, that's a pain in the ass if anybody's ever changed a tire on one of those things. Uh, it's got a cable, you got to crank it and the tire comes down, the tire is spare, you know, da, da, da. You got to get the jack out of the back sidewall. You got to release it. It's got these special little braces that hold it in place. It is a pain in the ass. And then you got to take the key and unlock the little lock that goes in the back so people can't uh, just come up to your car and pull that little plastic tab off and crank your spare down and steal your spare because there's so damn many thieves in the world today. But anyway, I called him. I said, uh, could you put all that stuff back in there for me? Because that's a pain in the ass. And they said, sure, we'll take care of that. It's no problem. We'll put the spare back up in there, put the jack back, do everything. So $1,350 later, after I paid for the rim and the tire and the balancing, and thank God they used the uh, TPMS out of the old tire, or it would have been another 200 bucks. And they put it on, balanced it. Everything's great. looks awesome. Uh, <laughs> I got home and I opened the tailgate up and there laid everything. They didn't put the back cover on. They didn't put the jack back. They didn't do shit. And I asked him before I left, I said, to get all that put back in? Yep, got it all took care of. They put the spare underneath and that was it. What in the hell is going on with customer service today? I put it back in. I mean, it's not a big deal, but Jesus, it's a, it's a convenience thing that they had to use the tools to lower the cable to put the spare back. So why didn't they just put them back like I asked? They had to put them in their little containers and lay them in there. And they put the jack back in there. Oh, they threw the jack in the sidewall. Yeah, they threw it right in there, right next to the fuse box. And it just wobbling around. I kept, I thought I heard something rattling when I got home and I looked. That's what made me look. Customer service. You know, that ain't the only circus in town. So when you go to buy a vehicle, think about that. What you get after you buy the vehicle makes a difference in whether or not you go back or you recommend them to somebody else. Well, this is Frosty. And that's my rant for the day. <laughs> See you guys.